Welcome back. In this session you might hear a little snoring in the background and that's not my class, that's my dog at my feet. Um, so um, I think someone left me a message too. It's getting busy around here. Anyway, let's get back to doing our ratio analysis and the next one we're going to do is total asset turnover. Um, so what we want to do here is we want to go down to our income statement And we want the net sales line. And for 2010, we had 393.185. And let me get the spreadsheet back here. And if we put put that in our spreadsheet, we have 393.185 divided by um, our total assets, which is right up above here. Total assets are 305,851. And if we put that in, hit enter, um, our total asset turnover is 1.286. So let's do the same thing now for 2009. And go back to the income statement and grab our sales, which is 586,81. Put that in our spreadsheet, 580681, divide that by our total assets, which comes from up here, and 324,876, so we had a uh, total asset turnover of 1.787 in 2009 and then in 2010 it went down so um, that's not good because you want to turn it over more times than less okay the next one is going to be our debt ratio okay so um, what we want to do here is go to our balance sheet which we have here and we're going to have to pick up a couple of numbers from this. I'm not going to highlight anything. I'm just going to pick them up and you can see on the right um, what those numbers are. The first one is total current liabilities, which is 87,494. And we're also going to pick up, so we get, have to add, is 11,304, which is our uh, long-term liabilities. And I forgot to put the parentheses in, so let me do that here. That way we can tell Excel what operation to do first. And then we're going to divide our total liabilities, our current and our long term, by our total assets, which is up above 305,851. Okay, so we have a debt ratio of 32.3%. So let's do uh, 2009. We have to do the same thing. And we have to scroll down to get our, our liabilities uh, for both current and long-term liabilities. And put that into our spreadsheet. So let's put that in. Start with our parentheses. And put in our current, which is 99,560. Something else going on here. 99,568 plus our long term of 13,397. Close our parentheses and then we're going to divide that by our total current asset, which, which is 324,876. And by the way, if you think about the accounting equation, you can go down to here and find the same number because total assets equals liabilities and shareholders equity. So we're going to pick up this 324,876. I just wanted to show, show you an alternate way um, so you could keep things on the same page if need be. And so our debt ratio for 2009 is 34.77. So our debt ratio is actually improving because it's going down. Okay, uh, next one is going to be times interest earned. So let's do that one for 2010. And what we have to do here is go down to our income statement. And 
we're going to pick up our um, we're going to pick up our operating income from right here and we're going to divide that and it's a negative by the way so let's put it in as a negative meaning it's a loss and we're going to divide that by our net interest expense which is right here and we have you can see we have to pick up both interest income and expense because that's what net means so we have in this case we have one 514 minus the 170 which is the expense part of it and now we can hit enter oh no we can't because I see there's a problem here there's two equal signs okay so there we have it now we have our times interest earned is just about five times for 2010 and now we can do 2009 so let's um, go over here and get our operating income and put that in our spreadsheet we have 42,617 and we're going to divide that by our net interest which is going to be the 2068 minus the 244 in expense close our parentheses and hit enter and um, Times interest earned was much better in 2009. It went from 23 times to 5 times. Okay, so that's times interest earned. And let's move on to gross profit margin. Okay, so what we need here is our income statement again. And we have our um, gross profit line up here. You know see if I can highlight the whole line there we go and we're going to put that in our spreadsheet we have for 2010 94 5, 5, 6, and we're going to divide that by our sales which is up above here so we'll put 393 185 hit enter and we had 24% and we're going to come over to 2009 and do the same thing for 2009. We put in our equal sign. And we're going to get our um, gross profit of 155,358. Put that in our spreadsheet. And we're going to divide that by our um, sales up here, 586,81. Hit enter and we had 26.75 percent okay um, let's do net profit margin okay um, so what we want to do on this one is um, go down to net income or loss which is down here and put for 2010 we put our number in a 69.89 negative that by our sales up above of 393.185 and hit enter and I want to fix something I just noticed because I noticed when I was putting in the minus sign I didn't do it up here this was a minus the 67.30 so we fix that and now we can go over and do 2009 for net profit margin and we can put in our numbers and we had um, a positive 26,428 and we're going to divide that by our um, sales up here of 586,81 and there you have it so we had a, a net profit margin of 4.55% in 2009 and 2010 we had a negative 0.178 
So I'm running out of time, I think, on this on this uh, video, and I will catch you in the next one.